There is a difference between who you are right now and who you want to be if you're like many people. You aim to reach big goals and do little things you think you should do. We all want a life that is meaningful and time-limited, but some habits stop us from being our best selves. Together, let's go on a journey to learn about nine bad habits that can weaken us and how to overcome them. Stoicism is an old Greek way of thinking that was created by Zeno in the 3rd century BC. We'll use its ideas to help us deal with the challenges of the present day. Stoicism advises us to grow qualities like wisdom, bravery, and discipline, and to focus on the things we can change. It helps us deal with the hard parts of life with calmness and strength. It's key to first be aware of ourselves before going through these nine habits. This knowledge helps us start making these habits into stoic practices that make our lives stronger, more meaningful, and peaceful. Would you like to change your life? Let's get started. Talking negatively about ourselves is the first habit. The first bad habit we need to deal with is talking negatively about ourselves. As Marcus Aurelius once said, our life is shaped by our thoughts. Our self-esteem, confidence, and general happiness are all shaped by how we talk to ourselves. Negative self-talk is bad because it makes us doubt ourselves and stops us from using all of our abilities. Marcus Aurelius, a famous Roman emperor and philosopher, emphasized the importance of watching our inner dialogue. Stoicism, the philosophy that is leading us here, tells us to manage our thoughts and switch out negativity for reason and kindness to ourselves. As Aurelius said, our thoughts affect how we see the world, so it's important to keep a positive and reasonable attitude. How can we get ourselves to stop talking bad? Without judging yourself, start by watching your thoughts. Watch for times when you start to judge or doubt yourself, and then use logic to question those thoughts. Is it possible that these thoughts are based on facts, or are they just a result of fear and insecurity? Stoicism advises us to practice self-compassion, which means we should be as kind and understanding to ourselves as we would be to a friend who is having a hard time. Do not be hard on yourself for mistakes or things you believe you are lacking. Instead, think about what you can learn and how you can improve. You'll find strength and toughness inside when you start replacing negative self-talk with logic and kindness to yourself. You'll be able to deal with life's challenging situations with more grace and confidence thanks to this strength. So let's start talking to ourselves differently and move towards a more positive and logical mindset. Second habit, putting things off. Epicurus once said, choosing our friends wisely is the key to a happy life. Similarly, procrastination, the act of delaying what needs to be done, is a common challenge that weakens our resolve stops us from moving forward and waste time we could have used to improve ourselves. Epicurus said that we should hang out with people who make us want to do our best. Then how do we fight procrastination? Carpe diem, which means seize the day, comes from stoicism. We should focus on the present and make the most of what we have right now, according to this philosophy. Procrastination typically results from being afraid of the future or not wanting to start a difficult job. To overcome this, we must understand that the present is all we can control and think like a stoic. Focus on what you can control and let go of the rest, advised stoic philosopher Epictetus. When we think too much about what might happen or how hard something will be, we put things off more than we should. This is how procrastination grows. Change your focus from worrying about the result to enjoying the process in order to fight this. Make small goals and work on them bit by bit to combat procrastination. It's okay to feel uncomfortable or uncertain right now. That's how we learn and get ready for bigger challenges. Every day we put off is a day lost for good. So keep in mind that we only have so much time. Let's get started on this path today. Make the most of today and face procrastination head on. Third habit, not caring about other people. It is taught in Stoicism that we should care about the well-being of all people because we are all part of a big human family. Not caring about other people's problems and needs can weaken our capacity to empathize and act morally, which can stop us from developing good qualities. Stoicism promotes good character traits like wisdom, fairness, 
bravery, and self-control, as well as living in harmony with nature. It's important to be kind and wish others well. We break this important rule if we don't consider what other people need, making us feel disconnected from the people around us. When we don't pay attention to how other people are doing, we start to lose interest in their problems, needs, and pain. This lack of caring can manifest itself in various ways, such as not helping those in need or not helping out. Ignoring the well-being of others prevents us from being compassionate and understanding, which is essential for developing strong moral character. It reminds us that we're all connected, so we should treat everyone with care, respect, and understanding. We can develop emotions and act in ways that benefit others by adopting this view. Not caring about other people means we miss out on the chance to do kind things, which is good for us and the person we help. Scientists have found that helping other people also makes us feel good. We end up focusing too much on ourselves when we don't consider the needs of others, which stops our ability to grow. True happiness, according to Stoicism, comes from living a good life and following morals and reason. We get stuck in selfishness when we ignore other people. This takes us away from this important idea. To break this habit and strengthen our stoic values, kindness, and empathy for others are key. This entails making an effort to understand other people's points of view and doing kind things for them. Showing kindness helps make the world a more caring and peaceful place in addition to matching stoic beliefs. By doing this, we bring about positive change, improve the lives of others, and strengthen our community. Are you ready to start this journey to a better and kinder life? We have the chance right in front of us. Running away from hard stuff is the fourth habit. You need to be okay with people thinking you're silly or don't know much if you want to get better. We avoid hard tasks and stick to what's easy, which is our fourth habit. Avoiding challenges stops us from learning and growing important skills like being patient, brave, and able to handle new things. The stoic way of thinking says that we should see hard times not as problems but as chances to get better. Epictetus, a famous stoicism figure, said that when we face challenges and leave our comfort zones, we grow and become better at controlling ourselves. Stoicism states that, for personal growth, it's really important to intentionally face hard situations. We learn to be patient, grow as people, and gain a deeper understanding of both ourselves and the world by choosing to experience hard times. Today, we frequently choose the easy path because it's more comfortable and gives us quick happiness. But this can stop us from growing in the long run. Stoicism says that real strength comes from facing challenges head-on and being patient. We learn important lessons, develop patience, and develop qualities like bravery, steadfastness, and toughness when we deal with challenges. We miss out on growing when we skip challenges. It can keep us in the same place. To quote the Stoics, go out of your comfort zone and do things that challenge you. This not only improves our skills, but it also helps to build our confidence and happiness. A fear of making mistakes can also lead to avoiding challenges. We miss the chance to learn from our mistakes and grow stronger by always choosing the easier option and avoiding risks. Being stoic doesn't mean putting ourselves through pain for no reason. It teaches us to deal with difficult times calmly and thoughtfully, understanding that pain is a part of life that helps us grow and get better. We learn how to rely on our values and strength rather than what is going on around us by choosing to face challenges. Using stoic ideas in our life helps us see challenges, failure and surprises as chances to learn and improve rather than as major issues. As we start the journey to learn more about ourselves and get better, let's welcome the hard times and look for challenges. The time to build a strong and flexible mindset is now. All of that is about growing want to find a new world of strength and determination. Are you ready to question what you believe and how you act? Let's start this journey. The fifth habit is to try to get other people's approval. According to Stoic philosophy, trying to win other people's approval can actually weaken our ability to follow Stoic principles. Stoicism tells us to focus on what's important inside of us, like being independent and not worrying what other people think. 
It's easy to get caught up in how many likes or followers we have these days because everyone is on social media. Our worth starts to depend on what other people think. Having our happiness depend on what other people say can make us feel bad about ourselves. Stoic philosophy, on the other hand, teaches us something different. Real happiness, according to the saying, comes from inside, where good qualities like wisdom, bravery, fairness, and self-control grow. These things are all about what we can control. They don't depend on the opinions of others. We give up our power when we stay focused on getting other people to tell us we're doing great. Our confidence then fluctuates based on what other people say, making it hard to be truly happy and at peace with oneself. Imagine that you write a blog post that you're really proud of, but instead of feeling good about it, you start checking to see how many people like or commented on it. You start to feel let down and start to doubt if your work was any good if you don't receive as much attention as you had hoped. This habit of needing approval from other people can make you lose confidence and make you forget how important what you've done is. How can we stop relying on what other people think? First, understand that chasing approval from people is like running on a treadmill. It never ends and you can't control it. Thoughts can change and it's impossible to please everyone. Focus on developing your own good living qualities and stoic ideas. Get used to your work and yourself. Consider why you feel that way and whether it really matters to your goal when you find yourself wanting someone else's approval. Remember that your actions and character, not what other people say about you, show how valuable you are. Trust your own judgment and the choices you make. By judging your actions against stoic values, you can gauge your own approval. Make improvements to yourself and don't compare yourself to others. Remember that real happiness and peace come from inside, not from praise from other people. Get some friends and teachers who will push you to do better. Some people who care about you will give you good advice, but remember that their thoughts do not define you. Simply put, chasing other people's approval then always contradicts stoic thinking. We can focus on developing our inner qualities and being happy on our own terms by understanding that other people's opinions aren't the key to evaluating ourselves. Build a net of support for your stoic journey to lead to a more meaningful and independent life. Get ready for the path to finding happiness with yourself. Getting caught up in wanting more things is habit number six. Instead of getting caught up in wanting a lot of stuff, Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is morally right and the good qualities we have inside. It's easy to forget what's really important in today's world, where wanting more and more is frequently seen as the goal. This is especially true when we start to confuse wanting things with being happy. Stoic teachings remind us that nothing outside of us is permanent. It can be taken away or lost. We're constantly told that having many things will make us happy and satisfied. We set ourselves up for feeling let down and unhappy if we rely on these things to make us happy. We end up always wanting more when we judge how good we feel about ourselves by how much we have. This never-ending way makes us constantly look for the next thing to buy, leading to constant unhappiness because there's always something newer or better out there. The difference between what we want and what we truly need was highlighted by Seneca, a great stoicism teacher. He said that wanting too many results from never feeling satisfied and thinking that having things is the key to long-term happiness. Stoicism asks us to consider what we really want and to choose desires that are in line with our real values and what is good for ourselves. Begin by being happy with what you have to avoid the trap of wanting too many things. Recognize that chasing more stuff usually leads to a never-ending cycle of wanting and not being satisfied. Instead, focus on developing virtues like wisdom, bravery, and kindness. The real keys to feeling fulfilled are these. Stoicism instructs us to switch our attention from things we can buy to virtues we can develop within ourselves. Things that make us truly happy are things we can control, like wisdom, bravery, balance, and fairness. We find deep meaning and satisfaction in our lives by valuing these virtues and working on them. Too much focus on having things can make us feel uneasy and stressed. 
constantly worrying that we don't have enough or comparing ourselves to others can leave us feeling envious and restless. Stoicism advises learning how to be content with what you have, not to give up owning things, but to have a balanced view of them. Things you own should not be your main source of happiness or worth. Instead, think of them as things that make your life better. It helps to care less about getting more stuff when you are thankful for what you already have. Try living simply, getting rid of things you don't need, which helps you break freed from materialism and live a stoic life. This change helps us become better people, make strong friends, and do good in the world. In essence, caring too much about having stuff can make it difficult to follow stoic advice, realizing that things don't last forever. We can stop always wanting more if we don't hold on to them too tightly. By following stoic wisdom and making ourselves better, this change lets us be happy. It's a big move that brings us real happiness and a life full of stoicism lessons. To begin this important journey, are you ready? Your path is ready for you. Too much attention on what went wrong is habit seven. Stoic teachings encourage us to live in the present, accept what happened, and learn from our mistakes. Getting stuck on our past mistakes goes against this. Many of us still replay our old mistakes, feeling bad about ourselves and our mistakes, which prevents us from being happy and moving forward. Instead, we are caught in regret and self-criticism. It also stops us from living better lives and enjoying the present. A key figure in Stoicism, Epictetus, taught that what bothers us is not what happens to us, but how we think about it. We experience negative feelings and unnecessary pain when we think about past mistakes repeatedly. Stoicism teaches us to accept our past actions, accept responsibility for them, and focus on how we can improve now. It's important to be kind and forgiving of ourselves in order to stop dwelling on the past. We can learn to accept ourselves and grow by understanding that everyone makes mistakes. It can be a game changer to look at mistakes differently. We can view them as important lessons that help us grow, rather than thinking of them as failures. Every mistake is a chance to get better. Taking this view frees us from the weight of the mistakes we've made in the past and lets us focus on the present. Mindfulness, or paying attention to the present moment, is a great way to stop thinking about past mistakes. We can move past regret and fully engage in what we're doing now by living in the present and not judging ourselves. Being thankful also helps us forget about the mistakes we've made in the past. Appreciating what we have and the lessons we've learned helps us notice the good things in life and makes us happier. We need to make a concerted effort to stick with stoic ideas and stop dwelling on past mistakes. Remember that we can choose how we feel about the past. Don't dwell on your mistakes. They won't help you live a good, meaningful life. Letting go, being kind to ourselves, remaining present, and being thankful can help us change our view and lead us to a more stoic way of living. We grow and focus our attention on the present and being our best selves by understanding our mistakes. Aim to live a life that is both meaningful and stoic. Break free from regret and accept good lessons. Get ready to start your journey to freedom. We can fight this habit and care more about everyone's well-being once we realize the importance of empathy and kindness. We can strengthen our character and make the world a more caring and ethical place by doing so. Avoiding new experiences is the eighth bit of habit. We can become too comfortable with our routines and be afraid to try new things at times. This fear can prevent us from growing and living life to the fullest. We should also be open to new experiences, just like Stoicism teaches us to embrace challenges. It helps us learn more about ourselves and the world around us when we try new things. It's about going into the unknown with interest instead of fear. Our bravery and ability to adapt grow as we do this. So let's challenge ourselves to break out of our comfort zones, try new things, and embrace the growth that comes with it. We can become more well-rounded people and enrich our lives with a variety of experiences if we make it a habit to look for new ones. Habit 9. Venting your anger. When things don't go our way, it's easy to let anger take over. Stoicism, on the other hand, 
teaches us to control our feelings and act with reason. Anger can cloud our judgment and cause us to act in ways we later regret. Stoicism tells us to stop, reflect, and try to come up with a calm and helpful response rather than giving in to our anger. We can keep our inner peace and deal with tough situations better if we learn to control our anger. Let's work on understanding what makes us angry, why we feel this way, and finding peaceful solutions. This anger control habit not only improves our health, but also strengthens our relationships with other people. We've learned how the teachings of Stoicism can help us overcome the nine habits that weaken us. These habits can be changed by taking a Stoic view. The Stoic way of thinking tells us to manage what we can, grow good qualities, and approach problems with bravery and patience. Getting rid of the need to seek approval from others and collect things helps us enjoy the present. Stoicism tells us to leave our comfort zones, reflect on the past without feeling regret, and move from weakness to strength. Remember that change is a slow process that requires effort and patience as you start. Always be kind to yourself and use stoic ideas every day. You can overcome these habits and lead a meaningful, workable, and peaceful life with strong habits and determination. Follow stoic advice, look for approval within yourself, change complaints into thankfulness, value good qualities over things, face challenges bravely, and move on from the past. You can make this change journey, and the end goal is closer than you think. Take control of your stoicism and use it to change your life today. Thank you for watching this video. In the comments, kindly share your opinions. Please like and share this video with other people who might find it useful. Sign up if you haven't already. We want you to stick with us so we can learn and grow. Be strong, peaceful, and stoic until we meet again. Until the next time.